Now let's see. Uh, how to arrive at the cash flow from operating activities after doing the adjustments for uh, working capital changes, right? Now, uh, the first thing that we did was net profit before tax and extraordinary items. Then after that, the non-cash expenses were adjusted. Then we got operating profit before working capital changes right now the third step is we have to provide for the working capital changes working capital is basically your current assets and current liabilities now let's see what are the adjustments that has to be made uh, for your working capital changes, right? Now we have this operating profit before working capital changes. Now let's see the items that has to be added to this. Add decrease in current assets and increase in current liabilities right so this thing has never to be forgotten decrease in current assets is to be added and increase in current liabilities is also to be added now what all will come under this we have decrease in stock that is a current asset right decrease in bills receivable right sundry debtors decrease in accrued incomes that is again a current asset decrease in prepaid expenses Increase in creditors' bills payable. Increase in outstanding expenses, which is a current liability. Then you have increase in advance incomes. Increase in provision for doubtful debts. right these things have to be added now look at the items that are to be subtracted less now it is just the opposite of this increase in current assets will be added sorry subtracted and decrease in current liabilities will be subtracted right so it's just the same thing decrease in stock here it is increase in stock Right, increase in bills receivable, debtors, right, increase in accrued incomes, increase in prepaid expenses. Okay, now here decrease in creditors, decrease in current liabilities, so decrease in creditors bills payable decrease in outstanding expenses decrease in advance incomes 
and decrease in provision for doubtful days right now this one after doing this you will get the cash flow from operations or operating activities right now after this if any income tax paid is there then you will have to do less income tax paid right less income tax paid when you do this less income tax paid you will get cash flow before extraordinary items right now after that if there are any extraordinary items right it has to be taken into account and then you will get the net cash from operating activities right so you have uh, extraordinary items whether it is a receipt or a payment right okay so we have this uh, this one uh, extraordinary items so depending on whether it is uh, a positive item or a negative item that is whether it is been received or it has been paid right then after this you get the net cash flow from operating activities right now i'm going to take a fun question in which you will have the working capital changes take up this question avatar limited made a net profit after tax of rupees 3 lakh 40000 okay for the year ended 31st march 2013 the following information are given now you have been given this uh um, here you have stock and this is given for two years that is 31st march 2012 and 31st march 2013 right now stock here was 70000 and 68000 right then you have got trade receivables which is uh, 67000 and 96000 right then you have prepaid uh, provision for taxation provision for taxation is given as 20000 and 
right then prepaid expenses is 2000 and 8000 okay trade payables trade payables is 75000 and 80000 now depreciation is 50000 insurance claim received is given as 15000 profit on sale of investments is 5000 Now you have to calculate the net flow from operating activities, fine. Right? Now first of all, the net profit that is given is 3,40,000. So I'll take that amount, 3,40,000, fine. Right? Now to that uh, provision, uh, provision for taxation is given. Provision for taxation for the current year that is to be added that is 14,000 right okay mm -hmm. so to this you will add provision for taxation 14,000 fine so that comes to 354,000 Now after that, less extraordinary item. There is an extraordinary item in this. This insurance claim received. This is an extraordinary item, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you will uh, subtract that. Less extraordinary item, fine. That is... <coughs> The amount was 15,000. Fine. So 15,000 will be deducted from this. So that comes to 3,54,000 minus 15,000. 3,54,000 minus 15,000 is 3,39,000. Now 3,39,000 is the uh, net profit before tax and extraordinary items now after that we have to do the adjustments for non-cash expenses and the uh, working capital changes right Now we will continue with this uh, question in our next session. I will take up the same question and we will continue from this. We will take up this uh, net profit before tax and extraordinary items and from there we will compute uh, the rest of the things and arrive at the cash flow from operating activities.